everyone welcome back to my channel nobody Karen's I'm Karen I hope everyone had a really good Thanksgiving so I hope everyone had a really good weekend and that they got all the shopping that they wanted done on Black Friday now me I've worked retail before and if I'm not working retail then I stay far 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 away from any store um, to me it's just not worth it to fight over uh, a makeup palette, a TV, a computer, just no, no thanks. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys all had a really good weekend and a great Thanksgiving. In my last video I talked about how after surgery um, I was in the hospital for a while, I had some scares and then my insurance was going to make me switch doctors. I was very fortunate enough to get into my new urologist office very quickly and um, I was going to be set up to have a lithotripsy, which I explained in my last video. It's basically, uh, they break down your stones by doing like shock wave and so you are um, under anesthesia and I'm not exactly sure how the process works. But somehow, I don't know if you're like shaken or how they like blast the stone, but they basically break it down into almost like fine sands and that way it's so much easier for you to pass. I was also given a stint, which is kind of like a coil wire that goes into your urethra and it widens so that way it's easier for you to pass anything big and nothing gets stuck in there, which I'll show you a picture of. So, um, my first lithotripsy, um, he tried to get me in as quick as possible. He got me in on October 14th and it was super easy. I went in and, um, you know, that you get to wear a really cool cap and you're regular gown and they roll you away you're put out and then um, you it takes probably like maybe 45 minutes to an hour to do which is awesome and then as soon as you come out and you're awake um, this as soon as you can go use the restroom so urinate they let you go so I was immediately like I have to go to the bathroom and um, and so I did and then I was able to go home so I probably wasn't even in there for maybe I, I you know, honestly I don't even really know I, I couldn't have been there longer than five hours because of course you always have to get there like two hours before um one thing they did tell me was that you know because I do have kidney stones and infection and things like that that I could urinate blood and side note I had I hadn't had my period since March of this year um, I talked to my doctor about it they said that my body is just under so much stress with everything going on you know and I'm stressed that it's just not happening and I was completely okay with that um, I get really bad cramps in my back and my you know in my pelvic area so I'm okay with you know not dealing with that so what happened was that I got shook so badly that it, I actually started my period. And like girls know, not to be gross, but girls we know, we can tell the difference between like period blood and you know like you know a, a, an infection or blood in your urine and things like that. So that was kind of, <laughs> kind of like meh, but you know it happens and that's just sometimes the way it is and um, I was able to start new a uh, new contraceptive which I actually take mostly to control my my period so that was kind of a, a like a like a myth but you know it happens that's life that's just nature you know and it always comes at the worst times um, so you know I had to after that I had my post-op and I was really worried because on so October 14th was my surgery and then on October 28th my amazing friends were flying me out to San Francisco to have like a fun weekend just to kind of get away you know and not think about my stress not think about 
you know, the pain and the body and just to have a fun, good weekend. So thank you so much, uh, Nikki, Roxy, Fanny. I really appreciate you guys. You know, you, you guys are really awesome. So I went to San Francisco and I was really worried about having the stint in and I didn't know how the stint would feel so I was really concerned that I was going to be like, you know, like bothered by it, it was going to be uncomfortable and flying and everything like that. Well now that I have it in, I, I realize that it's really not that bothersome. Some people do have issues with it but I'm luckily not so that was really awesome and so it, w it was good because he said that he was going to leave it in until I got back because he didn't want me to have any problems while I was there. So um, I ended up having, I did have to get, have to get an x-ray done, which is a KUB, before I went to my post-op and that was to kind of show um, exactly what was going on inside. And I actually had one done prior to the October 14 lithotripsy and he saw that there was actually quite a lot of stone left that it was kind of like the previous my previous urologist went in and kind of suctioned out everything around and then there was still on the outside of my kidney a ton of stone So then after I had my first lithotripsy, I had another KUB done and it showed that, you know, there's still a little bit left and, um, you know, that we still needed to have it. Um, at least one to two more procedures done and these aren't really surgeries a lithotripsy isn't necessarily a surgery because there's no incision you know or anything like that so that's kind of nice because I don't have to have any blood transfusions I don't have to be in the doctor or I mean in the hospital for days at a time so it, it makes it really simple and um, so after the, the lithotripsy uh, and he saw the KUB, he said that he thinks he can get it in two more procedures. So um, he basically said that he was hoping to wrap up the right kidney by the end of December and then next year we start on the left kidney. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of eh like this because um, start, you know I started all of this process back in July of 2015 and I was hoping to have both kidneys done by the end of this year but fortunately that's just not the way it is because I had so many issues with an abscess and fluid in there and postponements and everything like that so um, I, but I am thankful that I'm going to have at least the right kidney finished by the end of this year so I was really excited about that and then um, he scheduled my next lithotripsy on uh, November 14th so almost so exactly one month after the first one and I've had that done and everything went really really well there was an infection in there which I'm not surprised because I've been on and off antibiotics for months now so I wasn't surprised when he gave me some more antibiotics um, for an infection and uh, I'm hoping that he got the rest of it with that one but it's probably not likely um, but a girl can hope so I have my post-op appointment next week which is on a Tuesday and um, I'll have another KUB x-ray done and hopefully see where we're at on that and I'll make sure to show you all the pictures of my x-rays and KUB so you can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about so so far th that's pretty much all that's going on I still have to find an insurance that's going to hopefully not make me switch doctors again I want to try to stay in a network where I can keep my same PCP and my same urologist so my mom is I recruited my mother to help me with that because she helped me find this insurance last year um, so we're really hoping I can find something and then uh, I'm still working on my sinus issues I mean this is horrible I have extreme pressure in my head and the back of my head so um, I'm working on fixing that up. But um, other than that, you know, 2016, what a year has, I mean, it's just been so rough. So I'm really excited because 2017 is gonna be such a better year than this year. I'm going back to school in January. I'm waiting for my transcripts to arrive 
from ASU and MCC in Arizona and then hopefully I could start registering for school. I've already got my financial aid done. I've already got my award letter. So I'm just super excited to get back to having a life again and, you know, trying to succeed and just, you know, get back into work life and whatever else that, you know, us 30 something year olds do. So I really appreciate you guys being on this journey with me and remember we're only half done. So there's still a long, long road ahead of me, but at least it's going to be a little more exciting than me just sitting around the house being in pain um, because I really don't have any pain in the left side. It's all in my right side. So hopefully next year with doing the left side, I'm not going to have any issues with it and it's just going to be real quick and painless. Um, I was pretty sore after my second lithotripsy. I mean that happens and it's probably just because your natural reaction to your body being like blasted as you tense up. So I was just really, my back was super sore after that. So, but thanks again you guys. I so much appreciate you for being here with me. Um, like I mentioned, I think in one of my previous videos, when you don't have any friends physically here with you, it's really hard, but you know, I still have like my community texts or group texts with my girlfriends and then with my guy friends and you know, so that kind of keeps me going. But thanks again, you guys. Like I said, I hope you all had a, a great Thanksgiving and I will definitely let you know what happens in my next post-op. So thanks again, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.